Hey guys and welcome to another Crate Tutorial. My name is Guan and today we will be going through the power function in Crate. The power wire is the third wire of Crate's visual programming system. The power wire is primarily associated with controlling other gameplay props by turning them on and off. The way power is used is very much tied to specific gameplay props. So let's get a power gameplay props such as the generator into the scene. Alright, the way you apply power is by right clicking a gameplay prop, going to the power icon and then pressing that button, drawing a power wire to a gameplay, another gameplay prop. As you can see here, it is periodically turned on and off. This is because that is the functionality of the generator. This can of course be controlled from the settings. Now another very common power gameplay prop is the sensor. Let's have a look at that. Alright, so what you can see here is a sensor and a bunch of rotators and some rotating blades. If we power from the sensor to another gameplay prop, it will stop rotating because now it requires a signal from the sensor and the sensor will only register when the player enter that. Now the final way the power can be used is actually by being sort of a conductor between different gameplay props. So if I send power from this rotator to this rotator and from this rotator to this rotator, that means that even though it's the sensor that controls the power, each of the rotators can be used as a joint between a power system. So when I move my character in, they will all start moving because the power chain continues. And that is pretty much how power is used guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next video.